So I was looking on how to install the DDWRT on my Nighthawk R8000 from Netgear, but I couldn't find any uh, like video on how to do it. I saw some videos on how to do it with other brands, but I wanted like a guide for this specific router and I was not able to find it, not even for the R7000, which I thought may be very similar. So after looking in the uh, on the web, I found out like how to do it. So the first thing you have to do is to go to the DDWRT website. And if you have like a different model, it's going to be almost the same. In this case, I want to look for the files for the ART8000. But the problem is that although I can find the files for the installation, I was not able to find like instructions. So as you can see, I click and, uh, wait a minute. So I was so what I'm going to do is going to look for the instructions for the R7000, which are going to be like exactly the same uh, stuff that you have to do. So that's why I'm opening like two web tabs, one for the uh, files that you need to get, which are two. Uh, so it's this file and then the beam file that you need to get. So now I have finished with the download of the files and now what I want to do is to access the graphic interface. So I'm going to type the address uh, for the graphic interface for this, uh, for in general for Netgear routers, so you can use this address. Now if it's the first time you open this interface, it's going to ask you for a lot of stuff, not a lot, but some stuff like security questions. So just follow through and let me know when you finish. So before we continue, I want to recommend you to set the router to its factory default settings. And you can do that here in the menu, or you can also reach to your router and look for a button that's going to be called reset or something like that. So just press that button like for a couple of seconds, maybe 10 seconds, and it's going to do this uh, factory reset so that you don't have any issues down the road. So after you have done that, uh, come back to this. So now that we are back, we have you have to select advance and then you are going to select administration and then router update. Now we want to select the file that we downloaded and it's going to be called factory to uh, wrt.chk. You select the file and then you press upload and it's going to ask you for something and you just say like yes or continue. Now this is going to take some time, so let me speed this up. So now it has been quite some time since uh, we started this operation and we want to check if uh, the installation has finished. So for that, I'm going to type again the address for the graphic interface. And this time I have the DDWRT. So because it's our first time also in this interface, we have to select like the username and the password. And of course you are free to select uh, whatever you want. So now, we are inside the DDWRT and we want to finish the installation with the other file with the dot uh, with the dot bin file. So I'm just checking around some stuff and you want to go to uh, administration and then to firmware update upgrade. So I select and then 
um, you can choose done reset so just uh, or, uh, or anything you want and then just choose file you select the beam file and upgrade so again this is going to take some time so let me speed it up Woof. So now I have waited for quite some time and <laughs> and still I, I I don't have access to the uh DDWRT. So I guess I'll have no other option than to reset my router like manually. So let's see what happens. So I'm finally done with the reboot and I have access to the DDWRT interface and is uh, asking me again for the username and password. So I guess I will call this a success. And yeah, in fact, after doing this, I was able to configure the router to do everything I wanted, like VPN and stuff like that. So yeah, I hope you like it. See you. Bye bye.